Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fitz from ATF Gaming. Hey guys, John here. And welcome back to the Team Chaos channel. Today we are doing a little collaboration here on the team on the Chaos Craft server. We are over at John's location here in the Mesa. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have an objective today, John. What is that objective? Our objective is to make a cave spider spawner XP trap farm thing. I don't Great. know what it's called. <laughs> it's Great explanation. Grinder. Best possible explanation you could have given. It's a, it's a spider grinder. It's a spider yes. Grinder. So, um, before we start on that, I just wanted to show off a little bit of what John's doing, since uh, you guys have not seen that here on the channel yet. So, John's got a little mesa here. Uh, it's the only mesa on the server within like 10,000 blocks. Mm -hmm. And he's got some big plans for the area, like having the world's largest, largest non-automatic sugarcane farm. You know, um, it, it's just for aesthetics, okay? <laughs> I also what aesthetics there. exactly did you... <laughs> th there is no aesthetics that are pleasing with this. I like it, and it makes it's me It's just feel like a safer. giant fence. It makes me feel safer. From what? I don't know. Anyway. It's not like the bamboo where you can not walk through it. <laughs> Maybe I should change it all to bamboo. I would recommend that. But uh, anyway, so John's got this little starter hut here uh, linked up to the nether and all. And he's got Mesa. He's got a savanna. He's got a desert over there. He's got pretty much everything. Yeah. And if we come over this hill, you get a little glimpse up here. Little glimpse of uh, my first build, although that's just in the planning stages, but yeah. All right. My first real build is going to be up there. Yeah, looks like kind of a suburban house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a mesa. cool thing about the Mesa is, of course, that there are mine shafts everywhere, and because of that, there are cave spider spawners. Now, there's one over there, but the one we're going to be utilizing is the one closest to my house, which is right here. Yeah, we're literally on top of it. Um, we've got it safe-ish, kind of. Safe-ish, yeah. Uh, and we're, we've got a design that we're going to go off of, and hopefully it won't go horribly wrong. I mean, it, it, this is Team Chaos, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to gather materials and get everything prepped up here. I'm going to be using the camera account to kind of see what's, uh, what proceedings are going to be happening here, so hopefully you can get a bird's eye view of everything. So we're going to get ready, and... We'll see you then. Yep. Let's do this. Alright, so instead of showing you the building process, we're going to show you the finished product here. I'm recording this after the fact because the camera account footage plus John's footage was very, very long because we did lots of stupidity um, and therefore we had to do some uh tweaks i guess would be the word um it, whole scale changes would be another word i guess but here's the final product uh don't laugh when you look at it because john still has to design the outside and the exterior and all that but this is the final product now we had uh, i'm in my spectator spectator account and we we had some issues first of all uh, the original the original design that we had was a regular spider spawner and not a cave spider spawner. And I'll take the blame for that one. That was my fault. I am still relatively new to Minecraft and I did not know that cave spiders are smaller than regular spiders. So they just kind of, you know, walk through the killing chamber of the um, original design. So we obviously had to change it. And we didn't really have a good design to go off of because cave spider spawners are really quite a pain and there aren't a ton of good designs that we knew would work in 114. So we just kind of had to, you know, put our brains together. And so let's take a look inside here. There's the spawner. So we got the spawning room. We got water on the sides, pushing it towards the central location. And then in that central location, we got... Uh, a one one wide too tall room which is something we might change eventually we just kind of gave up at the end of it um, where the spiders are going to get funneled down and then they will get pushed up by the soul sand and into the killing chamber now if any of you have any suggestions on this um, and 
any better ideas on how to get them from the spawning chamber to the killing chamber. That seemed to be what we struggled with the most. So if you have any suggestions on how to avoid like these two spiders right here climbing and getting stuck. Um, now obviously that's just the nature of spiders so we might not be able to avoid that but that's fine. Now the killing chamber itself. Um, we went through several different options here, and we ended up with this one. Um, I don't think the enchantment tables... Well, actually, yeah. Uh, so the enchantment table block uh, block height is the uh, is a little lower than a full block. So that gives us the space to kill the spiders that are caught underneath the, uh, the iron bar right there. So that's our killing chamber. We got a hopper right underneath where the spiders are currently. Uh, that leads into this chest down here. So the only other issue we have is a, uh, twofold, actually. One, we cannot get the XP from the spiders without moving into spider poisoning range. So that is the first issue, which is why I installed this little on-off switch here uh, to turn these lights on and stop the spawning temporarily. But if you know any way to modify this um, without leaving enough room for the cave spiders to walk through um, and still be able to give a room for the XP to travel to you, then by all means let us know. Um, uh, but the second issue to kind of go along with that, we have to stand like on the back edge of this block in order to not get poisoned. If there's another possible way that we can hold these spiders in a, in a location, still be able to kill them, but not have any risk of getting poisoned, uh, be sure to let us know as well. But, you know, we were quite embarrassed, and you'll, you'll, you'll hear that in the ending clip. We were quite embarrassed about this whole thing, um, so we didn't really show it off in the ending clip because we really thought that it was a bad design. But honestly, going through it, again, A, spiders... Our spider grinders are just a pain. I'm not going to lie about that. They're just a pain. So, um, yeah. So, if I had to choose again, I probably wouldn't build a spider spawner. I wouldn't build a cave spider spawner. But this is the only spawner we found so far on the server. We haven't done a lot of caving where we were, and we haven't found any you no know, zombie or skeleton spawners yet. So this is kind of our source of XP. And until 114.1 gets released, which I'm sure it is by the time this video goes out, uh, we don't, we can't build an under under because that just causes ridiculous, ridiculous amount of lag. So this is kind of what we had to resort to. So be sure to let us know in the comments, uh, as we'll talk about in a minute with back with John. Um, let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions on how to make this better. So yeah, let's head back over to a slightly embarrassed Jonathan Wolf 38 and Aaron Fitch of ATF Gaming. Well, it happened. It works. Sort Fitch. of. It, it, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I have no clue how I'm going to edit this. If I'm going to edit this. <laughs> if this is even going to be an episode. Who knows? But it works. It's very ugly. Um, very, very, very ugly. Um, I mean, there. if we can come up with a better delivery slash kill chamber before this goes out, then there will be a clip of that inserted somewhere before this outro or after this outro that will show that it actually is better. The one we have is so ugly that we don't even really want to show it. We can get XP, we can get items, but it's it's not good. It's it, not, yeah, it's it's it's, not good. it's terrible. Um, so if you guys have a suggestion or a better way, so what the issue? Oh, no, don't look at that, Aaron. Um, <laughs> my mouse just decided to move on its own accord, Ooh. and it it looked right in between my legs. Um, <laughs> so um. If you guys have a better idea on how to kill, uh, funnel them into a single killing area, be able to kill them without getting poisoned, collect the items and the XP, please tell us. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we come up with something better, then you'll have seen that we did and you don't have to. But if we didn't, then please help us. Yes, please help us.
There's no good tutorials on this to where all everything funnels into a single area. In fairness, um, one fourteen is still new, and some of the things broke from old ones. So, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll work on it maybe, and or get advice Never. from you. So, uh, yeah, please help us. Granted, this episode isn't gonna come out until like. Three weeks after we recorded this. So Something like that. Help us, please. But um, if you did enjoy, then feel free to like. I don't know why you would, but feel free to like because we put a lot of work in anyway. Like for the worst possible <laughs> cave spider mob farm in history, John. That mm. is what they are liking for. Right? And be Would sure to subscribe so you can... <laughs> Anything else? From Team Chaos. Yeah. Well, I mean... The worst mob farm ever. Honestly, if you already have subscribed, then you're fine with our level of work ethic. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you can see more of this level of work ethic. And possibly more, because hopefully in the next episode, me and another Team Chaos are going to get together and work on something that will hopefully be a little more efficient. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> anyway. Bye.